hear the commotion And that's okay Cause we're in motion I can feel the sway There's nothing to fear, my friend, oh no It's the natural Colorado And when the ground is shaking In the thunder roars I wouldn't worry It's just a storm I just let my body pause To the natural Colorado So unwind Hello friends and welcome. Today we are doing a deep clean of my fridge and pantry. We are also restocking and reorganizing both as well as doing some dinner menu planning and a grocery haul. We have a lot of cleaning and organizing motivation jam packed into this video. So my hope is that after you watch this video, you feel motivated to organize an area of your house that may need it or just enjoy your time with me today. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoy it, like I said, and I really do hope it motivates you. The world is noisy, and that's all right. Every sound is just a piece of the natural rattle. Starting in the pantry, I always find this to be a little easier and I always start whenever I'm cleaning at the top. I've said that before. It, I just find it easier, you know, whether I'm cleaning my whole house, so I would start upstairs and work down, or I'm cleaning my bathroom, so I would start at the mirror and then work down. And I just guess with the pantry, it's the same way. I like to start at the top and work my way down. It kind of helps keep me on track. So I am starting at the top. We have up there where you just saw, we keep all of our aluminum foil and paper plates and items like that. It's a little unorganized. It's not too bad, but, but I do think it's kind of a difficult place to reach for me uh, because it's, I guess, so high up and things can get, um, you know thrown behind other things and that is what makes it hard for me um, So I purchased this shelf that I put together and I am enjoying it so far It is a little wobbly. You can see when I put it into the shelf It's not very steady, but thankfully there's nothing fragile on it. It's just holding aluminum foil and saran wrap So it's okay But I do like that it kind of keeps it all together and organized and neat looking I'm really enjoying it so far. I can link it below below if you would like. Just very affordable and effective. The way I won't be far behind. So now we are moving down and I'm going to take out all of the items. I was trying to work shelf by shelf. A lot of times if I empty the entire pantry and put it on my kitchen island, it's very, very overwhelming. So I was trying to go shelf by shelf. There was a little bit of overlapping, but overall that method works best for me. So if you ever feel overwhelmed, maybe when you're decluttering your kitchen, just work, you know, cabinet by cabinet. Not everything needs to be taken out at once. So I take everything out. I just wipe down the shelf inside and then I go through items. The items on the far right were expired. In the middle, the items were items we were never going to use that I can donate. And then on the left is where I was keeping things. 
it helped to have some type of like organization system as I was cleaning so that it wasn't all just cluttered together. So I was actually really looking forward to these two-tiered uh, Lazy Susan shelves. My pantry, like many pantries, is very deep and so the items in the back, especially canned goods, sometimes it's out of sight, out of mind, they're hard to reach, you forget about them. So you end up with expired items or just, you know, 10 cans of corn when you don't need that many. So. I will tell you that I'm so glad that I purchased these. I've been using them now for a few days and it was such a wonderful decision. You can just see exactly what you have. So highly recommend if you have like a deep shelf pantry like I do. So we're just moving down to the shelf underneath. This is where I keep a lot of the canned goods. You can see I didn't put anything on the shelf above yet because I wanted to see and go through this shelf that I am right now. Just kind of organize everything and then reorganize as I was putting in on these two shelves. Hopefully that makes sense. I remember even though I tried to have some type of system in place as I was cleaning and organizing, I feel like no matter what system you use, it might make it easier for you, but it's still overwhelming at times when you're taking everything out and decluttering and purging and reorganizing. I love doing that. It helps clear my mind, but I'm sure you can relate. It's a little chaotic at first. It gets, it gets worse before it gets better. And I think sometimes seeing all of that can be a little discouraging sometimes or overwhelming and you want to stop or ask yourself, what did you get yourself into? I think I was definitely feeling it around this time, but I just kept going and going. I think if you just keep picking at it, it will get better slowly but surely. So I will say it looks so much better and it just feels good when we open the pantry to have it nice and organized. I also wanted to share with you guys that I did create an Instagram. I'm very excited about it. I just made it public 
on Sunday and I posted my first reel. I was looking at it and you can see that it's not like perfect, but I'm so proud of it. You know, even though it's not perfect, it's my first one. I'm excited. So I don't know that I'll be posting tons of reels, but I will definitely be on there and I would love to interact with you on Instagram if you are on Instagram. So if you are, I would love for you to join my little Instagram family. So now I'm just, you know, continuing to go through like all of the box items, pasta. I didn't realize how much pasta I had, tacos and, you know, like a lot of the just boxed food items. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep You 
Okay, so we are now moving on to the fridge and wow, there were so many things in here I had to throw away. I didn't realize how bad it was. I didn't realize how many items that I needed to get rid of. I did a huge fridge deep clean maybe in September or October and I'm pretty sure I've cleaned it since then as well. So I don't know, I wanna say I don't know how it gets this cluttered and stuffed, but obviously it's just what we put in here. It's just very surprising that this quickly it gets this messy but i'm hoping that with the new organization systems i've put in place it, it'll help keep it organized and you know we can see what we have more easily and we're not you know purchasing items that we already have over and over again like cheese i swear at one time i can have like 10 packs of cheese and really bad about it so anyways it's okay it looks so good when we're done and i'm really excited about it
Give me love, give me all your love, give me all your love. So to try to keep myself a little more organized with the fridge, I did purchase some fridge organizers. I'm not using all of them, but I am using some of them. I was a little hesitant to do this because in the past I've tried to use organizers in the fridge and it actually just almost hindered us getting things out, like it made it more difficult. It was kind of a pain to put things in, take things out, it didn't help in any way. So I was a little hesitant, like I said, but I tried to be more thoughtful and intentional whenever I purchase items. You'll see what I got, you'll see how I use it, and hopefully everything works out. If it doesn't, you know, I can always take things out or reorganize somehow, but I think what I end up doing, I think it's gonna work good. A lot of my recipes from these two Magnolia Table Books, Volume 1 and 2. I have three, but I don't really like it that much. But 1 and 2, you can tell they're used. They've got wear and tear and stains. And then I actually really love this book, The Cozy Cookbook. I think that it has better recipes in it than even the Magnolia table. So I just wanted to share in case you are looking for new recipes. It has a lot of like comfy or comfort recipes. That's the type of recipes it has. A lot of comfort recipes in it and I absolutely love it. Here is the menu that I ended up writing down for next week. I'm not cooking tomorrow, so this is just Monday through Thursday. I don't always, I don't ever cook on Fridays or Saturdays. 
sometimes not Sundays. <laughs> so anyways, this is just Monday through Thursday. And I always choose my menu based on like what's going on that week. This week's pretty busy. Um, Monday I chose sheet pan sausage. It's the easiest, quickest meal. When I was working, it was one of my go-tos. I will link it below. It's super easy, quick, takes hardly any effort. Tuesday I am getting takeout because I have something else going on Tuesday evening. Wednesday we have physical therapy again. Just kidding, that's Thursday. Wednesday I'm actually able to prepare a, like a meal. So I'm making shepherd's pie, which I'm super excited about. And then Thursday we have physical therapy again and probably won't get home till about 5, 5.30. So I just chose breakfast because that's a pretty easy, quick meal to make. So there is my menu. I'll give you guys a quick grocery haul and then we'll put everything away in the clean fridge with all of my new organizers. Hopefully it works out good. I already had these items. I was supposed to make uh, shepherd's pie this past week. I didn't, so this is still sitting out here, but I did get some beef, some an onion, and some of these potatoes are for the shepherd's pie. So shepherd's pie, I will link that below as well. I always get comments on it. I used to bring it into work as leftovers and my friends loved it. So it's super delicious and easy as well. This is the sheet pan sausage. It's so quick and easy. And just because, you know, just to make it easier on myself, I would always choose smaller potatoes. I just wash them really quick, cut them in half. I don't peel them, cut this up, wash and cut mix it together with olive oil and some seasoning, throw it in the oven, you're good to go. Like that's literally it. I will link that below as well. And then this is gonna be breakfast. I thought I ordered a, a bigger one, like the normal size one, but this is what we got. Some butter taste and biscuits. I'm gonna do fried potatoes. I did forget to get a sweet onion. I always do a sweet onion with fried potatoes. I swear I make like, not to brag, but some of the best fried potatoes. Bacon, I got the thick center cut, some eggs, and then these are just like random things. My kids need a deodorant. I tried this palm olive OxyClean. It smells so, so good, so I got this again. I got more scent beads. I just started using these a few months ago and I love them. I have not tried these April Fresh ones, but I know that's like my favorite scent for fabric softener, so I'm thinking I'm gonna love this. Just some feminine products. Um, this is some lavender hand soap. I tried this recently and I loved it, so trying it again. Lavender body wash. Some conditioner. Can you tell that I love lavender? It's my favorite. And then over here, just some toilet paper and some paper towels. You know, the basics. We have some chips, more chips. So this will be like for lunches for Darren and stuff. Some cookies, the Aldi's. So this is a mixture, I forgot to mention, of Aldi's and Publix. This is the Aldi's version of Nutty Buddy Bars. My husband loves these as a treat. I got these vanilla ice cream bars and these Rice Krispie treats. These will get eaten up in my house in a heartbeat. I did get some healthy options though. I did get some blueberries, strawberries, grapes, some mandarins and some apples. So I did get some fruit. Just some random things, parchment paper, applesauce. This is the Aldi's version applesauce. My son and husband love applesauce, so I get this for them. They actually enjoyed this brand, the Aldi's version, more than like the name brand. So fun fact, and it's a lot cheaper. Some peanut butter, Green olives, I got these as a treat to myself. I love these, I cannot be the only one. They are so delicious. I got these hoagie rolls from Publix for my husband's lunch. He doesn't like regular bread, he likes these. His roast beef. I got this for one of my lunches. I have another frozen dinner in the freezer. And I also got some whole wheat bread and some turkey, sliced deli turkey that I'm gonna eat for some lunches. As far as drinks go, just water, obviously. Sweet tea, more sweet tea, some Yoohoo's. And I actually didn't get this in my haul. 
like in the groceries today. I just had it in the pantry and left it out because I want to refrigerate it, but I'm trying to eat healthier. So I think I'm going to, I've been hungry after breakfast. So I'm going to add this with my cereal and hopefully that'll kind of help fill me up. But anyways, there's my groceries and we are going to, it's like 8.30, been going at it all day. <laughs> We're going to get all this put away and hopefully we'll be done.
gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly starts to fade feels like things are gonna go my way i'm gonna let the sun shine in the day i'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke and i will try to fix what has been broken and take this weight off my shoulders cause i know yesterday ain't coming back Gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean Let its unsaid words Okay, so it is the next morning and I'm not as like delirious from being tired so I feel like I want to show you. I did make some changes this morning when my mind was a little more with it. Nothing major. But here's like where I'm keeping the eggs and my yogurt. I moved the jars of extra, you know, strawberries and blueberries here. All the boys in there, applesauce, grapes are in here, Darren's bread, just some extra drinks, cookies, nutty bars, all my cheeses that I like. These are just some extra blueberries. It wasn't enough to put like in a whole new jar, so I just put them in here. I'm actually about to take them out and have them for breakfast with my cereal. And I'm about to have one of these see how easy and convenient this is it's already set up for me to make a choices anyways I moved the berries up here because remember I had the shredded cheese and it kept bothering me because I swear I put it up there before and it like dries out but we have our water shredded cheese is here now and I want it out in the open I have always kept it here and I'm so bad everybody in my family will tell you I will have like 10 bags of cheese in the fridge and it's just a waste of money, a waste of food. My husband will like grab it when he sees it in the grocery bag and he'll like, don't you, we already have this cheese? And because it's like out of sight, out of mind and buried, I just order so much. So now I can easily pick through and see what I have. Then I'm keeping my shakes here, just easy to grab. So hopefully I'll make better choices. And our sweet tea, we are a sweet tea family. And I chose some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. This is actually really good if you're trying to make a transition. So I need to make those. When I'm doing, I do Noom, and whenever I do it, it logs. Hold on, fridge is yelling at me. Okay. Anyways, it logs whole milk as like a red food, I think. That's high calorie density food but anyways so milk's there and this is all the same green beans I don't really know where to put these but they're gonna be in here potatoes I put an onion so I've heard you're not supposed to put onion on potatoes but this is wrapped up in a bag so hopefully it's okay of course our little mandarins and apples and our cold cuts are still there I did stick this bread in there I think last night and anyways yeah there it is so I really like how it's organized the freezer looks so much better and then we have the pantry I also got in here this morning and it just looks so nice you know it just feels good when you open like a nice clean organized space this looks phenomenal I feel like the camera doesn't capture how neat and organized it is. All of our snacks right here. My teas, my fiber packets. I did put a big bag of Tostitas back here. I didn't have anywhere to put it, some crackers. Those are things that in the back we don't really grab for too much. Mostly there. And then pastas, rice, taco stuff in the back baking stuff like flour I don't really grab for there are some extra baskets in the back I'll put
but drinks down here and cereals. Oh, and right here in the center, I've always kept this notepad and pen, so if anybody needs anything, they can write down what they need for the week. It's pretty much organized how it's always been organized. I just added some extra in the back, which I needed for more space. And I added a third container here because we always just have two and just snacks and stuff. We need it here. So we needed an extra one. So there we go. Looks great.